just too curly, I don't know, okay. Okay, come on, come on here. Stay. What does this look? Hello everybody! It's me again, Mong. Today I'm going to be doing my September favorites where I share with you guys all of the things I love, all the products, the food. No, actually this month I don't have any food favorites but basically mainly skincare, mainly makeup and yeah, just the little things that I've been loving throughout the whole month. I hope you guys have been well. So if you guys want to watch and know what are my favorite things that I enjoyed the past month, keep watching. So this month I don't really have much products to share with you guys uh, because I've been sticking around with the same few products and I've been trying to finish up all the products that I have in my collection but I'm very very blessed that uh, some companies still do continue to send me products uh, their new products to try and one of them that I really really like and I've been using for on and off throughout the whole month of September. Actually, even in August, I started using it already. And it's actually Hada Labo. I'm sure you guys uh, have heard of this brand. Hada Labo is actually like a Japanese brand and they are very uh, good at coming out of products suitable for Asian skins. Yeah, and I actually made Matt use it also. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, this is the new... Actually, I don't know. It's it's all in Japanese over here, but uh, if I find out the name of the products, I will just put it in the description box below so you can check it out. So basically, it looks like this. This is actually like their, they call it the whitening lotion. So it has like a really watery consistency. It's basically almost like water. And what I do is after I wash my face, I tone it. And then I will put some in the palm of my hands and I will just like, pat it in like this, you know, just and also uh, I think it serves as a very good base for you to do some lymphatic massage on your face and lymphatic massage actually reduces swelling, reduces, you know, all the water retention and all those things. And together with the package that Hado Labo sent me, they also retention and all those things. And together with the package that Hado Labo sent me, they also included this, which again, I don't really have the name of the product. It says Hada Labo White Gel UV SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. That's four pluses. Okay. Wow. Okay. So basically it comes in a little tube like this and uh, it has quite a lot of products inside and I use this as my daily moisturizer like in the in the day because it contains very very high SPF and not only is it very hydrating for my skin, it also um, is not sticky, it's not thick at all. Oh yes, and my, I think it's my last, yeah. My last skincare favorite for the month of September is something I really love and I cannot live without. It is actually the Eucerin Dermal Purifier Active Concentrate. And I know I talked about uh, Eucerin quite a lot, I even gave a talk at their like public skincare forum. So out of the whole range, and I've mentioned it at the forum as well, this is really my favorite. This little bottle here, which you can see I'm running out of, it's like so little left. Yeah, so it's actually like a active concentrate. I don't really remember what uh, ingredients are in there or what it claims to do for your skin. But what I do is after I wash, I tone, and then I pump one small pump. Actually, I always use two pumps, but because it's running out, so I'm trying to save it. <laughs> yeah. So I have, I pump one pump, and I put it all across my face. And it's very magical. I don't know how to describe to you the feeling um, this double purified active concentrate leaves my skin with. It's, it's like, really silky. It just makes your skin feel so soft and like smooth and it evens your skin out. Uh, yeah, I would really really recommend this and I don't think this is expensive at all. I'm gonna have to double check but if I'm not wrong, it's actually just $39 or something and yeah, it has made my skin like really clearer, um, really a lot more hydrated and I can see it 
like you know after continuous use usage and I'm definitely gonna repurchase another bottle because I'm running out and I'm gonna freak out if I don't have it anymore we have one hair favorite and that is my shampoo this is the Redcon Scalp Relief Soothing Balance Shampoo for Sensitive Scalp Stress Oh, Sensitive Stress Scalp and Hair So it comes in a huge bottle like this and it is actually recommended to me by my stylist from Salon Vin Bugis He's called Jay and he said that this uh, shampoo will definitely help my scalp which really really did and I'm sure you guys know that I have very very sensitive scalp I have eczema on my scalp, it's dry, it's flaky, it's just gross I'm glad I found this shampoo that actually cleanses my, uh, my scalp really well and not only that, it's also not very um, harsh it doesn't foam up because I think it uh, it's sulfate free I don't know basically it leaves my scalp with a really slight menthol cooling sensation after I uh, wash my hair and it's really soothing, it's really gentle and yeah, I would recommend this to anyone who faces scalp problems like I do or if you generally just have very sensitive and angry scalp, go for this. Now it's time for my favorite, it's makeup! Yeah. This month, I don't really have a lot of makeup favorites because I really haven't been shopping that much. So I'm just gonna show you guys one of my favorites and that is this eyeshadow palette this is um, a surprise gift from Matt and uh, I'm just really happy with it it's the Kyung Sun eyeshadow quad called Bad Girl and it's from Mimi Box Mimi Box is actually a brand from Korea and I don't think you can get it in Singapore or rather not so easily yeah so Kyung San is actually a YouTuber and she does like a, a lot of makeup looks, beauty tutorials and stuff. So she's from Korea and she actually teamed up with Mimi Box and came up with her own quad which I've been wanting to get my hands on but uh, I always thought that you can't find Mimi Box products in Singapore. But one day uh, as I was shopping and walking around Boogie's Plus with Matt and I chanced upon this I was like oh my god. This Kyung Sun's palette. <laughs> yeah, so I went to swatch it and I really wanted to buy it but I was just like, hmm, I have a lot of makeup ready so just let me think about it. And little did I know, Matt actually went back secretly to get it for me. So it's quite cute. <laughs> and I really like it because it's very fall appropriate and I've been using it for ever since I got it. Yeah, it's been maybe about three weeks now or two and a half weeks, I'm not sure. But basically there are four eyeshadows inside and they're all very good quality, very pigmented and um, the colours are more towards um, the warmer tones. So you have burgundy, you have um, a gold, you have a champagne shade for highlights as well as a dark plum colour for your crease. It has a very very big mirror as well which I love. And it's so small and portable and I just really like it. So next, I've also really been into fall lipsticks because now it's fall. I don't know. I know it's not fall in Singapore yet. Or rather, never, ever. But let's just pretend now, okay? <laughs> so I've been loving uh, to wear darker lipsticks. Like for example, the one I'm wearing today. This is actually um, from Wet n Wild. It's the E915B spiked with rum and I really love uh, Wear and Wild lipsticks because they're so pigmented you just need one layer and you get like the colour payoff to be really really vibrant yeah and I got this at for only like six ninety sing dollars so even though the packaging is really quite bad and cheap uh, the lid keeps falling off and it gets off my back but what to do? it's just cheap Another favourite of mine is this Max Satin Lipstick in the shade Mocha and I went to the store to just try and see if I can find like a more fall shade that's suitable for my skin tone 
and so the lady recommended uh, a few and mocha was one of them so I was just testing it out, testing it out and I was like hmm, this shit is really really nice and then I looked at it I was like oh, mocha! <laughs> I actually own a MAC blush in mocha as well so it's fate. Yeah, so I bought it immediately and I just really like it. It has like a little tinge of brown and a bit of orange inside. So it's, um, I think it's quite suitable for people with very warm and brown skins like, like me. So if you have kind of like the same color range, I mean same skin tone as I do, then maybe you can Go to one of your Mac stores and try out Mocha. It's really nice. Uh, it's about $31. Okay, it's fine. Like It's not super expensive, but it's not cheap as well. But lipsticks really last a long time. So if you want to find one that you want to invest in, try Mocha. And I have another lipstick <laughs> here with me. And this is the Chanel Rouge Allure. Um, lipstick in the shade 92 Secret 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 I have no idea how to pronounce it maybe it's French I think so okay never mind but basically this is just like a everyday nude lipstick that also Matt surprised me with I didn't tell him that I wanted this or like I wanted any like specific shades or anything but he just thought it would look good on me and yeah he just got it for me it's really really nice it's just very suitable for everyday wear. So next up we have the foundation or rather what I is this a foundation? I don't know. It's yeah, I I think so. Okay, basically it's a cushion BB foundation kind of thing. And this is my second one from Etude House. It's the Etude House Precious Mineral Any Cushion. So this is their new uh, series, I think it just came out this year. So you have a little path like this and then you open up and then you have the product like this and then you just pump it in there and pat it all over your face. I really like it because it's very easy to use. I mean basically I just throw this in my bag, I have a mirror, I have a puff an applicator and my product is just all in one. And I, I just have to pat it on my skin and it looks nice and I love it because this makes me look so healthy and dewy and oh yeah and if you guys can see they actually have like little dots which um the description says that they are it is actually some kind of serum that um is good for your skin and it also gives you the very natural dewy healthy look so if you're into the dewy skin then go for this last but not least I have two favorite brushes with me and I carry them with me like every day. So if you guys have seen um, the collaboration I did with uh, Artist Professional Makeup Brushes, uh, actually you can watch all the videos down in the description box below, I'm gonna link it there. Yeah, uh, I just love their brushes. It's pretty affordable. I think all these actually are maybe 10-ish dollars, yeah, and the bigger ones are maybe just 20 plus dollars, but they are really good quality for the price you pay, and um, yeah, they just have a huge range that will definitely be able to cater to any of your needs. So here are two of my favorites that I've been using a lot this month. This is the number 32 double-ended shadow brush. So on one end, you have the fluffy side, on another end, you have a really short uh, and firm and dense eyeshadow brush yeah basically it's just like a U shape and I like it to you know just draw like on my waterline not really exactly on my waterline but very close to my lash line and it gives me a lot of precision because it's so firm and it's really short bristles so you get very very good pigmentation yeah so I just like to use it for like an eyeliner kind of look and this is what I throw in my purse. Look how small this is. It's so small. Yeah, so this is like the travel size powder brush. I don't really like to apply my translucent powder um, with the puff it comes with because uh, I feel that the puff likes to pick up too much product and then it makes my skin look very cakey. So I like to bring a fluffy brush along with me to uh, touch up on the go. And what better than this tiny little one that doesn't take up too much space, yeah? So, I really love it. I just 
washed it yesterday, so it's really nice and clean and fluffy. One last favorite, and this I guess is just like a random beauty favorite or fashion favorite if you want to call it. Yeah. So I hardly have any fashion favorites because I like to change my wardrobe up very often. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, on my blog, everywhere, you will know that and you'll see this little thing very often in there. So this is from Miss Selfridge. It's just like a golden cuff with three big um, circle details. So you, I like to wear it like on my arm like this. You know, it makes me look very bohemian and it actually just goes well with every outfit, don't you think? I think that's all for this month's favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed it and sorry for all the technical glitches and my hair being all over the place. I know it's very distracting. <laughs> and the last thing I want is my footages to be not in focus. So please let it be in focus. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, if you enjoyed it and you want to see more of me, please like, comment, subscribe and uh, remember to check out the description box below for all the links and all the things I can find on the product names and all. Yeah. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!